Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the snap layouts from Windows 11 or how to expand the usability because in Windows 11, the snap layouts, for those of you who don't know, is a menu that you can access if you hover over the maximize button on any window and you have these options in order to change the layout of your window. But as I said, in Windows 11, these options are pretty limited and they come as this by default. And if you have a ultra wide monitor or a 4K monitor, you would want to be able to customize the layouts in order to be more productive and to be able to use your screen faster and better. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using the Microsoft Power Toys app. The Microsoft Power Toys app is an app developed by Microsoft that you can find in the Microsoft store. So just click on the search box and type in here store and in the store search for Power Toys. Install the Microsoft Power Toys app, click on it and then install. The app is going to download and install all the necessary components. After the app is installed, exit out from the Microsoft store and open the Power Toys app manually. As you can see here, Power Toys Preview. In the General tab, you're going to have to click on Restart Power Toys as Administrator in order for the Power Toys app to have access to each and every app as Administrator to be able to use its features like the Fancy Zones as they call it. The Fancy Zones are basically the snap layouts from Windows 11. But as you can see, as I've said, they are pretty limited by default in Windows 11. Now, let's click on Fancy Zones. As you can see in this video, I have the full HD resolution on the recording because I want to show you how powerful this app is and how helpful it can be. Basically, as you can see, you have a lot of settings here. I'm not going to go through all the settings. The only setting that I recommend you to enable is this one. Restore the original size of Windows when unsnapping and you're going to see in a few moments when this will be useful. But every other setting, you can leave it as default. And of course, you can check or uncheck these settings if you like them or not. But in this video, we're going to use the editor and I'm going to click on launch layout edit. As you can see, we have some templates and also we can create custom grids in our Windows operating system. You can use a template by clicking on the edit button and you can edit it really easily. But I recommend you clicking on create new layout and you are going to create a custom layout. I'm going to use the grid first of all to see how it looks. I'm going to click on create and as you can see, we can now customize our layouts to our liking. For example, let's do something like this, then something like this. As you can see, you have some limits. Windows knows uh, where you have uh, certain limits or not. And I'm going to leave the layout as I created it here. And then I'm going to click on save and apply. Now let's exit out from here and see how we can use this. If you are in a certain app, let's say the file explorer, if you want to enable this, you're going to have to press shift and then drag your window. As you can see, when you press shift and drag your window, the layout that you just created has appeared on our screen. And for example, you can easily snap your window into a certain layout. And the setting that we just enabled is useful because if you unsnap your window, the window will restore to its original size. And that's really, really useful. Of course, you have to get used to this app because it has a lot of features and it's very powerful, as I've said. Now let's create another custom layout. I'm going to click on launch editor again and let's create a new layout which has canvas. So let's create and as you can see here, we can have certain canvases that can go over each other. And this way you can be even more productive. And I'm just going to click on save and apply. And let's see how we can use this. As you can see here, it is really interesting. We have all the zones and you can select each and every one of them. For example, the third one, it's really easy to use. Of course, here in the fancy zones editor, you have to select the layout that you want to currently use, as I've said, because you can only use one custom created layout and press shift, drag your window and you will see the magic happen. If you don't know how to unsnap, just drag your window to the right a bit and it will unsnap to its original size. Of course, if you have this setting enabled, restore the original size of windows when unsnapping. Here in the activation shortcut, you can create a shortcut that will easily launch the editor of the layout. So for example, here it is Windows plus Shift plus A. I edited it a bit earlier. If you want to edit it, just click on this edit button and type in your keyboard combination. As you can see, only shortcuts that start with Windows key, Control, Alt or Shift are valid. Now, if we are in a certain window, for example, in the File Explorer, if I press the Windows Shift plus A combination, the Fancy Zones editor will open up and I can easily edit my zone 
zones if I don't like something about it at the moment. And of course, regarding to the zones, you have a lot of settings and you can customize them to the smallest detail, like the zone opacity, the zone highlight color, the inactive color, the border color and stuff like that. And of course, an important thing that I have to mention is that certain apps or windows will not be able to snap into certain layouts. For example, this window, as you can see, won't be able to snap into this layout because as you saw, this window cannot go that small, but maybe a browser or other app will be able to do that. Of course, I'm sure you will know how to customize the layouts for your liking and for you to be more productive. If you go down a bit, you have the override windows snap option. And as you can see, this overrides the window snap shortcut, win plus arrow to move windows between zones. So as you can see here, if you go and launch the editor, you're gonna see that we have now the custom layout created. Now on this custom layout, if we enable this override windows snap, if we use the windows plus left or right arrow, we can move our windows based on the zone index. And as you can see, I'm gonna demonstrate it to you here, windows plus left, and it's gonna snap our window into our layout zones, which is pretty interesting. We can use Windows plus up, down, left and right to move windows based on relative position. This will be maybe more useful. Let's check that. As you can see, we can move it into certain positions into our Windows layouts or fancy zones. That's again, very, very useful. Another setting that can be useful is in the Windows section and is this one, make dragged window transparent. If you enable it, I'm gonna demonstrate it to you now. I'm gonna open the file explorer and the dragged window will be transparent for you to be able to see the layouts better. And I think this is very, very useful and can help you with your productivity in your Windows operating system. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I love this Microsoft Power Toys app. And this is only the fancy zones section. As you saw, you have a lot of settings that you can go around and play with. And this is not all. You have a whole bunch of other categories, but we're not going to talk about those in this video. So basically, this is a small tutorial that I've made about the fancy zones, about the Microsoft Microsoft snap layouts, how to expand their usability or how to customize them. And I'm hoping that this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated. And also let me know in the comments down below if you are using the Microsoft Power Toys or if you are planning on to using it after watching this video. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.